name is Laura Harden and I'm the writer of Before the Storm. This piece is about two people at a house party the night before lockdown trying to navigate an already complex relationship that has become even more complicated now that all of these restrictions are being implemented. And I wrote it because I thought it would be interesting to explore an undefined relationship in those final hours and to see how all of that tension and anxiety about the future might make people act and be vulnerable in a way that they felt that they couldn't be before. My name is Connor Hanretty and I'm the writer of War Paint. It's a play about an immunocompromised artist who finds himself unemployed and is trying to figure out a next step to take to survive in this new moment we find ourselves in. I wrote it as a response to the prompt word change. I've been thinking a lot about viruses and about artists and about the precarious place that we find ourselves in in the world. Uh, I suppose it's quite literally about putting a brave face on things. Hi, my name is Katrina Daly and I'm the writer of Martyrs. Um, so Martyrs is about how during the lockdown people who were cocooning kind of lost all sense of personal agency and looking at that through the lens of um, alcoholism. Uh, it was inspired because I had to cocoon myself for a little bit and it was really inspired by shopping lists and how I had to quantify everything I, I wanted to consume for a week and how uncomfortable and revealing that was. Hi, my name is Grace Lobo and I'm the writer of Bear Hunt. I think Bear Hunt's kind of about the complicated emotions that can come from being with the same people 24-7 especially in a stressful situation and especially when those people are people that you love. Um, I was inspired to write it because I've been quarantined with my family since March um, and yeah, just kind of trying to process what that experience has been like. My name is Eric O'Brien and I'm the writer of the script The Wonder Are You. Um, the Wonder Are You is based around three characters, father, mother and son. Uh, it takes a look at how those characters deal with the death of a loved one during the pandemic. I was curious to figure out well, what we do or how do we behave or how do we begin to, to mourn or grieve for the death of a loved one when, when, when we have these restrictions in place. My name is Ryan Murphy and I wrote the play Ragnarok. It's a play about a young couple considering having a child whilst being aware of climate change and how that will affect the child's future. Um, I wrote the play um, in response to the environmental issues that are happening in the world and my own thoughts about climate change and how that will affect any children I have. Enjoy. My name is Maria Popovic and I'm the writer of Just Because They're Birds. The play is about two scientists looking for a message hidden in bird songs. What inspired me to write this play was thinking about the way we process natural events that we can't control by trying to find in them a language that we can understand. My name is Julia Marks and I'm the writer of For How Janelle Monet Once Made Me Feel. This play is about female friendships and growing up in a world that's not how we expected it to be, and about online shopping and hip hop and how objects shape our identities. I was inspired by the forced isolation of the global lockdown and I wanted to explore how human relationships continue even in a world that's distant and digital. My name is Kira Elizabeth Smith and I'm the writer of Wild Horses. Um, the play is about uh, disciplinary action after a company-wide Zoom meeting and it was inspired by the access that employers had to their employees during lockdown and how some companies took advantage of that. My name is Patrick O'Leary, standing in the rain at Caramore Pier, County Mayo. This is where I wrote my tiny play, which came from watching the sea every day changing, sometimes wild and sometimes soft, and watching the edge of the land always the same. And thank you to Fishamble for having me. Hope you enjoy. Lots of love.